bit of delayed video but I recently got a PS Vita as some of you may have known because I've put up a PS Vita gameplay and this is the bundle that I got came with four games and that is PlayStation All Stars which I'm currently playing to try to get the Platinum now I already had this on the PlayStation Plus, one of the PlayStation Plus games in the PS3 but um, for some reason my license has ran out on it so it's a good job I have this game again for those who uh, want to platinum this game, this is uh, fairly easy but some of the online ones are a pain in the ass but nonetheless this is a awesome game, I really like the you know, all the characters on it and how on the arcade mode, the story mode is pretty cool how all the characters are like uh, well interact with each other Rayman Origins is another one that I've been uh, playing an absolutely brilliant game looks lovely on the, uh, the OLED screen I'll need to get the Legends I think it was um, well I wanted to get this anyway so I'm glad I got it on the PS Vita because it's an awesome game to kind of pick up and play and it's easy to get into this game is Gravity Rush which I haven't played yet but I've heard good things about it and I know that they did a HD remake a HD remake or a remake of this on the PS4 and this is supposed to be a, another brilliant game it looks cool so I need to try this out and I also got Little Big Planet just the first Little Big Planet another game that um, was free for the PS3 uh, when the PS3 got hacked um, they offered free games and this is one of them but I've got the PS Vita version now I'm not sure if I'm going to play this as much I've tried it out I mean it is I do like it but um, it takes a lot of time to kind of customise everything I'll probably give it a shot on the PS Vita so those are the four games that came with the PS Vita that I bought and uh, I also got another two games Jurassic World um, I wanted to get this on the PS4 I'm a bit disappointed that you can't have co-op online co-op and there's no sort of I don't think there's even a um, Wi-Fi co-op or ad hoc co-op I mean it just says one player on here which is a shame but um, it's I played the demo on the PS4 and it's very similar but it's just, I don't think it's exactly the same as the console versions but I got this pretty cheap anyway so and I wanted to get it because um, you can play all the Jurassic Park um, movies or parts of it anyway and it looks pretty cool on the Vita last game that I got is the uh, Persona 4 Golden and um, I got this fairly cheap again and haven't tried it yet I only got it the other day and this is supposed to be a brilliant or an awesome uh, RPG, JRPG game on the PS Vita. I know there's tons of Persona games. Um, I haven't really played them, although I've always meaning to get some. Um, well, I'm meaning to get them on the PSP and um, on the PS2 as well. Hours of gameplay on this, so definitely worth it. So, yeah, came box. This is the original. PS Vita 1000 that version, whatever you want to call it in the case this might be an official case I'm not too sure, you can put 5 games in it obviously the AR cards which I haven't actually tried yet there's uh, a few apps on the PS, PS Store there's a few apps which I uh, haven't tried yet because uh, I've only got an 8 gig, 8 gigabyte memory card in here I need to get a bigger one to be able to install more games but it looks amazing on here the OLED screen see I was 
debating whether to get the slim version or this one but I tried, I kind of tested it out and I prefer the feel of the PS Vita 1000 some other games Oli Oli 2, these are the PSN ones uh, Need for Speed Invokers uh, can't remember what that uh, STF Ultra it's an indie game but um, you can also have a network media player and this is connected to my uh, NAS disk station loads of stuff you can do on this VR I love it an absolute must buy um, especially now Whoops. now that uh, every month you get kind of like a free PS Vita game um, you can do so much on it and the ROM won't play as well Definitely a reason to uh, get a PS Vita in 2016. Um, the PSN games, obviously, remote play. So these are, these are the videos on the on my disc station. I walk dead, and it's pretty seamless. Quality is amazing. So there's that, and then like music obviously. It's all hooked up onto the NAS, and like I think you can connect this up to your PS3 or PS4 or a media center PC, and you can put your music on there. So essentially, you can use this as a MP3 player around the house if you have Bluetooth device or Bluetooth speakers. Um, you can um, just play music anywhere in the house. Just exit that. Wake up club. A neat little alarm where you can um, notify, well, push people to wake up at the same time as you. Um, Nia, that's default installed. It kind of shows who has a PS Vita around your area. Um, what else is cool what's in here oh yeah remote play obviously um, friends messages let's check out the store oh, there's a lot of um, indie games to to buy on here now and they do a sell every every month there's always a different list of games on sale here all the Lego games are on sale Manhunt 2 obviously you can play PS well you can buy PSP games on here and PS1 games God of War Ghost of Sparta is the free one of this month. Indie games, mini games. Oh crap. Demos on here. Add ons. Themes. Some of the mini games. These are kind of like the app games you get on your mobile devices. Stuff picks. Now I was looking through the the store and there is a lack of uh, simulator games or strategy games, which is a shame. They should uh, really update this with more simulation games. Uh, one of the games uh, is an indie game, is the Prison Architect, which. Um, I was hoping they had this on here, but they don't. So that's only the well, that's 
my only sort of um, complaint. Apart from that, there's there is just so many games and a few free ones as well. Like I'll be playing that Invokers tournament, and that was free, free to play game. <coughs> so, so yeah, that is. Well, there's um that one's a music composing what well, composer game. Sort of small one. Uh, Equilibrium is what was that again? Where you uh. It's a free game, it's one of the PSV uh, ones where you can make your own what it, make your own uh, zoo or something make your own little world everything loads pretty fast on here Bit of a trippy game. Ecosystem. I think I've like planted a. Oh. How does this work again? I have planted a tree. Oh, so you got to move around. Oh crap! It's a bit awkward to. Uh, Play this with one hand, so let's just exit that. One more thing I want to show you is oh yeah, they got the PlayStation Home arcade games on there. That was free. Um, the camera, it's so so quality is so so. Um, go on gallery. But considering this is a quite an old device now, well, the PS Vita came out in like 2013, I think, or earlier. I can't actually remember when it came out. But um, I mean, it's okay. It's cool that it has a camera on it, though. Unlike the PSP. That was my lunch. That's my lunch and a panoramic view. Oh, that one. Where is that one? This is my room. You can move around. Oh, a bit awkward. As you can see, I'll just do my do it like this. Panoramic view on low light. The quality isn't amazing, but it's a cool feature. Regardless, and that was the last thing I wanted to show you. So yeah, definitely worth getting a PS Vita 2016. Um, I mainly got it because I wanted to uh, do remote play and kind of well, obviously buy a few games on the PS Vita because there are tons of tons and tons of uh, games that you can get especially if you're a JRPG fan there's just so many games so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you again soon